Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gents. And as promised, I am here to show you the content that has come in the Alpha 4 Patch 7 update. So hopefully uh, towards the beginning of next year in 2022, we will have the big update up to Alpha number 5, which will be really, really awesome. Can't wait for that. But in Alpha 4 Patch 7, we have some new items to play with. So first of all, we've got four new trees. We got ourselves a maple tree, an apple tree, a apricot tree, and a cherry tree, which will come in handy later on when we uh, get using them in other factors. <laughs> we have a new fence, apparently, but I, I have never used fences before in this game. So one of these five fence, is not like the other <laughs> meaning that it's new and i have absolutely no idea which one it is so yeah for those of you who have used fences before one of those five fences is new the other four are old congratulations <laughs> now item number two citizens who own gardens will now be able to harvest their own fruit trees if they decide to plant them uh, now currently i can't actually find any citizens who have planted trees so i'm afraid i can't show you that we now have a centralized help window, which is very, very helpful indeed, and literally has all the information you could possibly want on absolutely everything. And to uh, to go back to the previous menu, you just press back to contents. It has literally everything. I'm going to be using this a lot. Next up, we have mining camps that have had a status string attached to them that will tell you when there is no reachable deposit, which is very helpful. Next up, we have five new crops for private gardens, which include garlic, horseradish, marrows, peas, and pumpkins. Unfortunately, I have only been able to find peas and marrows within the gardens of my village so far but I will uh, pop an image up on the screen of what the rest of them look like. Next edition is just one of those variety th ones. You can kind of see it pretty well here, is the gardeners will now be able to rotate their crops. Not a huge change, but really nice, just a little touch of variety. Now, they also claim to have added a help text for boatyards. However, considering it is not on the boatyard panel itself, I am assuming that the boatyard help text is this you'll also see that uh, we have performed preventative repairs on the boatyard but i believe uh, that we used that element in the last video that i did of my playthrough of ostrov so you have already seen that right next up would have been the fence models but since i've already done that i will jump right on to the next one which is a slight reduction in food consumption for children which i like it's realistic they're not going to eat as much as adults Next up, we have added sounds for sheep, but since I do not have sheep, I'm afraid I cannot show you that. <laughs> we also have a brand new building in an orchard that you can select from three different types of trees to give you additional resources within your village. And because they were very easy to build, here's three I made earlier. <laughs> First one we have is running apple trees. Second one we have is running apricot trees, the two of which look quite similar, so I'm hoping there will be some difference you can see other than uh, just clicking on the building itself when the trees get bigger. And finally, we have the cherry trees, which, as you can see, look quite a bit different to the other two. Now, next up, we have a little note saying that orchards can be customised during creation just like houses with gardens. And I thought to myself, what the hell are you talking about? Houses can't be customized. Well, if you actually look at the UI and look at the massive piece of yellow text in the UI, they can be customized. And <laughs> this, I don't know when they added this, but I'm obviously not paying attention enough to the change logs of the game. I had absolutely no idea that you could do this. I think this might very well change my life within this game into some very, very interesting creations. I cannot wait to mess about with this. Now, they've also added a water wheel sound, which I assume is part of a filling mill because that's the only water wheel I can find. Unfortunately, the filling mill makes resources out of wool. And since I have no sheep, I have no wool to make it work, so I can't show you what it sounds like 
I'm really sorry. Next up, we have a new crop to grow in the fields in the shape of barley. Now, currently, barley cannot actually be used for anything, but it will have more uses later on in the game. Now, next up, they have changed a few things slightly to assist with bigger towns and uh, the resource supply by laborers. So hopefully the performance will be a little bit better on that front. Next up, we have a realism change for our animals where animals will now actually die of old age so they won't just stick around permanently so another reason for using slaughterhouses they have also added a new map which instead of featuring a limited supply of limestone deposits that will have infinite limestone deposits next up we have a new export commodity in the form of apples that can be loaded on at your trading dock or your trading outpost next we have a reduced camera speed when zoomed in which quite frankly I've noticed, but I thought it was always a thing. <laughs> I had no idea that they've just added it. And last but not least for the changes, they have added a few optimizations to help out those of you with big old towns, which I'm currently nowhere near. <laughs> now, in a rarity for an update video, I'm actually going to go over the fixes that were bought out in patch 7 as well as patch 7 hotfix 1, purely because the updates were done very, very close to each other and were actually done in between me making two videos so both of the updates affect my videos so in alpha 4 patch 7 we have a rare crash when hovering buildings cows and sheep could stop reproducing if only one worker was hired citizens didn't consume alcohol that they bought houses were put on hold were counted as available in migration status granary and warehouse workers could supply infinitely small amounts of resources an exploit that allowed instant construction salt work menu pop-ups reported incorrect amount of construction resources saves with smeltery being constructed could be corrupted all maps could become inaccessible after building a bridge a crash during tannery construction a crash after some tavern family members died of old age and finally the patch 7 hotfix 1 fixes Foresters didn't mind chopping down orchard trees. Barley had been mistakenly put onto the list of human edible foods. A bug after demolishing buildings leading to various crashes and weirdness. Smeltery supply options didn't save correctly. Apply to all in some buildings could mess up their supply. And last but least, orchard production didn't count to economy stats. So ladies and gents, that is it for the Alpha 4 Patch 7 and Alpha 4 patch 7 hotfix 1 and i will see you in my playthrough and obviously with another update video when alpha 5 comes out in the new year i hope you have all had a very very good year like myself and i wish you all the best in the new year as always thank you very much for watching thank you very much for support and i'll see you in the next video